Devil of Hell's Kitchen is back, and he is not messing around. He's already elbows deep into the mess of things we like to call the MCU. And with the biggest crime boss also part of the same universe, it is only a matter of time before the two get into yet another clash of theirs, which will be something you will not want to miss. It has been three years since we last saw Charlie Cox's Daredevil in the Netflix series, and even though fans were expecting and wanting more of the show, sadly, it was canceled after just three seasons back in November 2018. The decision came out of nowhere, but it was later explained that it all came down as a result of a logistical wrangle, which saw the Netflix streaming service also cancel the likes of Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, The Punisher, and Iron Fist, with the rights of the characters and their stories reverting back to Marvel Studios effective immediately. As we said before, fans were disappointed and launched a barrage of petitions and online campaigns to save the characters and a recent chain of events showed us that Marvel was listening. As we finally saw Charlie Cox in the role of Daredevil and Vincent D'Onofrio in the role of Kingpin, who were the first two characters that appeared in the Netflix TV series to make the transition to the MCU. Hot on the heels, we saw Kingpin leaping all the way to the Hawkeye Disney Plus series and after months and even years of past time, we also saw Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, making the transition to the wide MCU setting. And there's no doubt about it, we think every fan was excited to finally see Matt Murdock on the big screen, who made a relatively early appearance in the latest Spider-Man No Way Home movie that had over two and a half hour runtime. Well, I have some good news, Peter. I don't believe any of the charges against you are gonna stick. The movie did an excellent job of bringing Matt Murdock to the scene. It picked up right where Spider-Man Far From Home movie ended, Mysterio sending doctored footage of his own death to a rogue reporter, J. Jonah Jameson, framing Spider-Man, which not only made Spider-Man the killer, but his identity became known to the whole wide world, with Peter Parker being Spider-Man of the MCU, a chain of events that turned Peter's life upside down. This unforeseen turn of events brings all Peter, MJ, Ned, and Aunt May for questioning to the police, who are working with the Department of Damage Control. Peter eventually gets set free, with the press not leaving him alone for one bit. This is the time when we get to meet Matt Murdock inside May's apartment, who offers advice to the gang. And even though there is no Daredevil-themed music, he does get a featured moment as he steps into frame, with his upper half cropped out, sitting down, and Charlie Cox revealing himself. He's practically the same Matt Murdock we remember from the Netflix series, styling the red glasses, a cane, and a slightly ill-fitting suit. And while Peter dodges his legal troubles, Matt warns him that much worse things are coming, a court of public opinion. His moments in the movie are closing as he catches a flying brick from behind his back. Peter looks stunned that his blind lawyer pulled off an impossible stunt, which is quite a shocker to him, as he still does not know who Matt Murdock actually is, but he is yet to figure things out. That is pretty much it for Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, but the bigger deal is that he is officially part of the MCU, despite the lack of costume we think we're going to get in one of his next endeavors that will take part in the MCU. Another character whose history is closely connected to Daredevil, both in the comics and the live action projects, is Kingpin, who also made his MCU debut in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. And we think these two characters will continue their connection in the MCU as well. Which makes sense, seeing how these two were the first ones introduced as part of the MCU after their time on Netflix. So with that in mind, now that they're here, what is the next step for the two of them? Well, the most obvious answer would be for the characters to play the support role, which could potentially happen next in the upcoming, already confirmed Echo Disney Plus series. Another outing from Matt Murdock would be in another upcoming TV series from Marvel Studios, She-Hulk, in which his lawyer skills could factor in a way to benefit yet another character of the MCU right off the bat. The ultimate dream for the fans would be to see Charlie Cox in either a TV series or a movie in the lead role, which is certainly not an impossible thing to do. 
However, seeing the jam-packed release schedule of Marvel Studios in the two upcoming years, we will have to wait a bit longer if that is the case, with 2024 being the earliest period of when we might see him as the lead character of some project. Whatever the case may be, the main thing to know is that the first steps about the character have been taken, with Daredevil no longer in limbo. Another big thing is the fact that we are going to see the same version of Daredevil in the MCU, with none other than Charlie Cox himself reprising the role, as if it could be anyone else. The Man Without Fear is back, so the only question right now is when, not if or how. Thus, we suggest that you remain calm and see where his journey in the MCU takes him, and we are in no doubt that the character will rise to the top as being one of the most interesting characters of the MCU, one that will have a huge impact on planet Earth, if not beyond, with his lawyer skills and shady sunglasses, but also wearing the bloody leather costume doing the dirty job that others are not prepared for. One of the big things about the Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil character, is the man behind it all, Charlie Cox, who has had a lot of success with the character. And we can see exactly why, as he was able to live up to the expectations and beyond, who ultimately made the character to be one of the most successful characters out of all members of the Defenders team on the Netflix streaming platform. And it appears that, once again, Cox himself feels comfortable with the spoiler of him joining the MCU already out there after the events of the latest Spider-Man movie. We are saying this because in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he said he's been waiting for years to get a call from Marvel Studios and how happy and honored he was to be called upon by Kevin Feige himself to return to the role, going to the extent of him being smuggled on the Spider-Man No Way Home set in order to keep his character a secret to the last possible moment. As for where the character will go next, Cox said that he knows a little, but not much, and will not dive into anything in particular. But he said that knowing that now Kingpin is also part of the MCU, we should expect for yet another clash between the two characters in the near future, which will be an epic moment to see, judging by just what kind of a pass the two have had over the years. Thus, with everything said and done, we think that Charlie Cox's next appearance in the MCU will come through the Echo and the She-Hulk Disney Plus series. And we think that these two series will depict both the lawyer we know Matt Murdock is and his alter ego Daredevil, with the MCU completing the whole package for one of their newest introductions to the MCU. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the character and his hit TV series, if you watched it? But also, what do you think will his next adventure be? A continuation of his story from the Netflix series? A movie of sorts? Or even a reset of the character to become part of something even bigger? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.